Today's lesson, section 3.1a, talking about the standard form of a quadratic function. So, a quadratic function, f of x is equal to ax squared plus bx plus c, and can be expressed in standard form as f of x is equal to a times x minus h squared plus k by completing the square. The graph of the f is a parabola with vertex hk. The parabola opens upward if a is greater than 0 or downward if a is less than 0. So here just this lesson, all we're doing is taking um, a general form for a given function for a parabola and putting it in standard form. So, and it's more so um, using the vertex in this case. So to put it in standard form, We want to be able to rewrite our stuff so that we can complete the square. So we're basically just talking about these two. This value of negative 13 is not representative of what the C should be. So I want to move it outside the parentheses. And now inside the parentheses I want to factor out the value of negative 3 because it doesn't give me a 1 next to the X because then I can't really complete the square if it's there. So I move negative 3 out. It gives me x squared minus 4x. And now I can create a spot for a new c value that helps me out. Now here, because you're going to add something in to the parentheses, you've got to subtract something out to keep it balanced. And that's why you're doing it all on the same side. Usually we put it on the left side because it would balance our equation, so we add on one side, we add on the other. But here, since we put it on the same side, then we got to add and subtract to keep it balanced. So once I factor out that negative 3, I'll look at my b value of negative 4 and take that and divide it by 2, and then square it to get me my new c value, which is 4. Now, before I just put 4 on this outside, it's really taking the negative 3 and multiplying it to the 4 is what we're doing. Because if you multiply it out, that would be negative 12, not positive 4. So negative 12 is what we're putting in here, so then that's what I put out here. Now, you're probably thinking, why did I subtract again? But it's double negative, so it actually makes it a positive there. So you're actually doing the opposite in this case. So now if negative 3... I want to um, factor my x squared minus 4x plus 4 to get me x minus 2 and x minus 2. And then negative 3 plus 12 actually gives me negative 1. And now since I have two x minus 2s, I can combine them and write them as 1 base to the second power, and that's minus 1. So then f of x in standard form would be negative 3 times x minus 2 squared minus 1. Okay. Have fun.